threads in the tapestry of fate. Measured, woven, and cut according to a great plan. Fate weavers undertake the task of reading those threads. Our title always was a bitter lie, since we have no control over how that tapestry is woven. But you do. And when a fate weaver looks at your place in the weave, we see only the shapes of what you may choose to become. You can find Arden's little cottage in the middle of Yova. Had to move there when he got run out of town. He's a damned good fate weaver, but that doesn't make you very popular. Especially not in dark days like these. Once I was Agarth the Unyielding, the Blade of Avgrum. I wrestled the Colossus Priestess and declined knighthood by the High King of the Fae. I was a hero of men. But that wasn't enough for me. I joined the Fate Weavers, hoping to find a way to conquer destiny itself. Turns out fate is the one thing I couldn't fight. That's just it. I don't know if you've got one, but that's why we're going to see Arden. He lives in a little hut in the east in Yulman. I'll meet you there. What could this all mean?
Everyone just stand back. The warden can't work when you're crowding so close. Go back to your business. Go on. What? Keep moving. This business doesn't concern you. Unless you're an expert scholar on the Fae, I'd suggest you move along. No reason to be out in the open with the Red Legion about. I don't know if you noticed, but St. Odwig's mission closed its gate moments before that Fae's body turned up on the road. I don't like what that suggests. Not at all. I'd never seen one of them until a day or so ago. It appears that a small group of warriors ventured inland to strike behind our lines. Believe the stories, friend. The Twath were mad. They have been touched by a dark magic. They are wholly corrupted and they are the enemy. The brothers of St. Odwigs are an odd sort, scurrying back and forth across the mission like squirrels gathering nuts. I wonder what goes on behind those closed doors. Bandits, but no ordinary bandits. Surely you've heard of Red the Dead Edward. They say he drinks the blood of his captives, that he consumes their souls. Or perhaps those are just rumors. You should be fine if you stay inside the village. Once you go beyond the boundaries of Gorhart, however, your life is in your hands. What are they? I'm not sure, but they've been here for longer than any of us can imagine. They're older than the trees. They have to be. They grew them. Humans and immortals cannot live together in peace, at least not forever. The peace we have with the Summer Court is unnatural. That's my opinion. You might call it a Fey Nation, one of two united factions that rule their kind. The Summer Court are not exactly allies, but they do let us be, most of the time. It's the other Fey, the Winter Court, that has spawned the dreaded Tuatha. A vicious clan of killers who wish to defeat and enslave all mortals. Are you playing a trick on me? I would hope so. We're going on ten years of the mortals and the Tuatha locked in a deadly embrace. Normally, I'd decry the bloodshed, but this is a conflict that we cannot afford to lose. I don't care what you race. It's a tragedy whenever anyone's savage like this. Just look at the poor creature. She's been beaten to the brink of death. The Fae may be strange, but they certainly don't deserve this. I don't know what the Tuatha would be doing this far from the front lines. It must be something vital to their interests. They're a wicked breed, though, and I pity the man who meets up with them in these darkened forests. I've seen many bandit clans in the Crystal War and back home, but these men are a particular breed. They like their victims weak and bloody. The Red Legion has been a presence in the area for several weeks now. Our people are scared to show their faces after dark. We keep a precarious peace with the Court of Summer, one that's tested every day. I lie awake at night worrying what kind of disaster awaits me in the morning. But we're a good community full of good people. We have our eccentrics, sure. But we work hard and live quietly. That's the best anyone can do these days. I've spent most of my life dealing with them, but they aren't like us. Not at the core. They don't know what it means to be a man who sweats to feed his family. Gorhart has become a sort of refuge for those settlers who wish to live a life free of Fey. I don't see that lasting. Not with the war. Not with everything changing. Our fate rests in the hands of a few chosen who fight in the East. You wouldn't even know it in Gorhart. We're miles away from the smoke and the screams. 
peaceful fey make up the tribe known as the Court of Summer. They are led by a king in a faraway city, hidden from mortal eyes. That's about all I know. Little more than rumors and stories from my youth. It appears she was attacked with some manner of short blade, likely a dagger, although there's no way I can be sure. People simply stood by as she called for help. No one lifted a finger. Can you imagine? It's shameful to treat another in such a way, even if she is a fae. I don't know whether we possess the knowledge to treat such a wound. Frankly, I don't even know if I could save a mortal with such grievous wounds. It's difficult to say. We've been plagued by the Red Legion for days, but it's not their way to go after the Fey in the area. They like their targets mortal. In case you haven't heard, there have been some Tuatha sighting in the woods to the west, so that's also a possibility. It's unlikely, though. Well, you're the only one. With all the troubles we've suffered in this village, people are weary of adversity. They'd rather just ignore it. I'm going to suggest something a bit... untraditional. There's a fey named Eri. She spends her days up on the hill overlooking the village. Seek her wisdom. I would do it, but... I'm a coward. That's the truth. Perhaps a fey will know how to heal a fey. If not, then we're back where we started. She spends her days in the precipice overlooking the village. She doesn't think we're aware of her presence, but we most certainly are. Bye now. Okay, so now we are going to go find the Fae. Hello! I'm not accustomed to all of this excitement. It was difficult enough to adjust life during wartime. Now we have to be on our guard for Tuatha right here in our own home. What is this world coming to? It's my understanding that they were once members of the Court of Winter, and they like any other. But something dark, Lord me, took them. And twisted them in its grip. It's strange. Those old birds have been perched on that hill for as long as I can remember, staring down over the rest of us in the village like hawks. I know so little about them, I don't even know their names. I was born and raised right here in the village. Well, not in Gorhart proper, but on a farmstead outside the village boundaries. It was a good life. Before the war, of course. I was a miller's love who became a miller's wife. Now I am the wife of a soldier. My duty is to hold vigil for my beloved and for all our men on the lines. I would think they were a myth if not for the Tuatha. They keep far from us. Perhaps they view us as intruders in their lands. Perhaps they disapprove of our civilized ways. Perhaps they know something we don't. I fear that most of all. Truth be told, I know nothing of why the Tuatha are at war with the Alfar, nor why men fight the way they do. All I know is who picks up the pieces. The Tuatha's madness infected the Winter Court. All Fey existed peacefully for centuries, until the Tuatha got involved. It's sad. I'm hardly a scholar, but I can tell you what I know. There are two Fey factions, the gentle Court of Summer and its coarser cousin, the Court of Winter. As a child, we were told stories of their ancient rivalry. These are surely myths, but enough to scare a young girl. In the last few years, the Court of Winter has fallen, corrupted by a group of powerful Fey called the Tuatha. It's the Tuatha we fight, and the Tuatha we will defeat. 
My experience is limited to Arnik Arjuna and Katra Norway. They seem the same as any of the rest of us. Wiser, perhaps, but decent, hard-working folk. Goodbye. Where is the boy? Or have I already been this way? Oh, I see the circle going that way, so let's see the map. Okay, she's either here. Let's check there first. Already spoke to you, but hello again. Maybe I have to go this way and then go down a little bit. Oh. <coughs> 